What is a passion project to you? Something you love to work on? Something you feel you are meant to be doing in life? Perhaps both, perhaps neither. Perhaps you have a completely different idea of what it's all meant to be. But no matter your answer, I know there's something out there for everyone to chase. Maybe you haven't found it yet. Maybe you have. It doesn't matter. What really matters is that you are chasing down what you feel is right. And for me, this is what I feel is my next step to finding meaning in life. This is HQC's One Block, a Minecraft server I've been coding with some friends and Twitch viewers for a couple weeks now. It's a space-themed server that revolves around the player traveling around space in search of greater mysteries and greater strengths. The goal of the game is to become a being of unimaginable power, through ancient magics and technology beyond your wildest dreams. But in order to get there, we all have to start somewhere. And in HQC's One Block, that start is on your island, with only one single block. Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 1 of HQC's One Block Dev Playthrough. I'm HQC, and I'm the owner of the HQC Network. I've been working on this server for a couple of weeks now with some friends and Twitch viewers of mine. Let's get some key information out of the way. This server is public, and you can join with the IP hqcnetwork.com. I'll be doing this playthrough on the main server as if I was just a normal player, so if you guys want to come by and play with me, feel free to do so. Secondly, this server is being constantly updated. It's still pretty early in development, so I'll be working on it pretty often, and we'll be releasing updates quite often for the first few weeks and months. But enough of that, what exactly is OneBlock? Well, for the HQC network, OneBlock is a space-themed version of Skyblock in which you start off with only a single block on your island, called the One Block, that constantly regenerates as you mine it. Other than that, that's really about it. Let's get into it, and I'll show you what I mean by all this. I am no longer the intro HQC, I am a completely unscripted, live, well, kinda live, HQC. Uh, welcome to HQC, HQC's One Block, the HQC network. So let's just get right into it. Um, I am of course the owner, as I said, but I'm going to be playing this as if I was a completely new player with absolutely no knowledge of what's going on. So let's just get right into it. Uh, this is a lobby. It was created by Aaron Lol and Mystery Girl. Uh, huge credit to them. Very impressively done. Like, oh my god, this looks amazing. And uh, yeah. So the first thing that you will see when you get into the game is you'll be spawning inside of this house right here in the center. Uh, you can look around, there's these signs because we added multiplayer, so you can play multiplayer with your friends if you really want to, uh, pretty easily. Uh, but yeah, so first thing you should do is you should look in your inventory. You will notice you have a wooden pickaxe with 0.5 mining speed, and a menu item. You can also walk around and see that there's three commands here. There's the lobby command, which is this area of the lobby, the island command, you can go to your island, and the BC shop command where, if you look on the right, there is coins. That's where you can spend your block coins. So, let's look, let's just look at the menu really quick, because that's gonna be the first thing you do, let's be real. So you open up the menu, you have three options. Well, four really, but profiles is just save profiles. I'm doing this on profile two because profile one is my development profile, so development two is my pure playthrough profile. So we've got three options. We have the flea market, of course. I, I have a stick in there. I, I don't know why I did that. Uh, that was this... That was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, that, <laughs> I did not do that at 3 a.m. I can assure you that I did that at like 10 p.m. last night. Um, so we got the flea market. Works pretty cool. We got the progression book, which is the most important one. And these are filled with things called ages. Ages are basically progression stages where you have to complete a list of goals in order to progress through the game. So the first one is, of course, the starting age. And the first goal is create your island. So let's do that, slash island. Boom, we have an island. Here we go, and as, as you can see in chat, we have unlocked the goal, create your island. So here we go. This is the start of the HQC's one block. Let's get into it. Uh, we also have the block coin shop, which is indeed one of the goals. We can, we can mine our one block or we can go to the block coin shop. So let's go to the block coin shop. We've already completed the goal. There's two options here. There's a block upgrade shop which has a bunch of different ores you can unlock. When you unlock these, they will have a chance of spawning when you mine your one block. Also, I'm just gonna say now, the glowstone is different than it appears. It is not simply just glowstone, it drops a special item. So you will want to get glowstone. 
gravel is also mandatory if you want to progress through the automation age, which is the third age. All these ages should take, you can complete them in, the, let's say, less than a couple hours, I'd say, not even. Probably like a good hour or two or gro two, <laughs> probably a good hour or two of grinding, you could probably complete all these goals so far. But yeah. Uh, after that, you will be able, after you complete, like, these main three ages, there is three ages, I'm gonna say that right now. Right now, there's three ages. There's a starting age, the expansion age, and the automation age. The fourth age will be the start of the main portion of the game, which is the space stage. That will contain things called planets. When you go to a planet, it will contain special things for you to do, quests, special mobs, special items. Long story short, You'll see when you get there. It's not out yet, but it will be out for next update in not even a couple weeks, maybe two at most, depending on how long it takes us to code. So yeah, let's uh, do some more goals. As we can see, we've uh, created our island. Now we need to mine the one block. We've all, we've all, <laughs> we have also completed the block coin shop one, so let's mine the one block. Boom! See? And we have also gotten one block coin on the right. So perfect. What else can we do? We can now upgrade our pickaxe to stone. So how are we going to do that? I also need to buy a sapling, which you can buy a sapling from right here. Uh, so yeah. How are we going to get wood to craft a stone pickaxe? Well, there's only one thing we can do. Let's keep mining. Of course, you will want to be expanding your base so blocks don't just fall into the void. Ooh. Yep, don't want that to happen. So let's keep mining and keep expanding our base. I also made it so that you, if you do really want to buy cobblestone, you can right here for five block coins so that blocks stop falling off your island. That's just in case you got unlucky enough to not pick up a single cobblestone block as you're mining. So let's keep going, let's keep mining. The start of the game is, of course, a little bit slow as most one block and sky block things are. This tends to be how it is, pretty usual really. Once you really start getting into it, that's when it gets really fun. There's a lot more to this game than you think, and there's going to be a lot more coming too. As the series, as this series progresses in episodes, I will be releasing more and more updates, and the game will become more and more complex. Yo, look at that, dude. Okay, so here we go. Here is how you get blocks that aren't just cobblestone. You will have a slight chance of getting non-cobblestone blocks when you mine the one block. As of right now, dirt is a 5% chance. And there is one other piece of, and there is one other block that is also extremely important to progression, and that, of course, is an oak log. That oak log has a roughly 10% chance of spawning whenever you mine the one block, and it's how you create your stone pickaxe and your crafting table to progress in the game. I'm gonna have completed. Oh, here we go! I was gonna say I, I would have completed the expansion age far before I'd get the wood. Here we go! So for your first one, you of course want to make a crafting table. But this is pretty basic. Now with the crafting table, you can of course craft a stone slab, couple stone slab, which you should be doing to prevent mob spawning because mob spawning is still a thing. You need to create a mob grinder eventually. It's pretty important. Uh, let's put this dirt right over here. Uh, you will want to be creating a mob spawner at some point. That's very important. Mobs at this stage, they don't drop block coins, but in probably a I honestly probably like not even a day or two here. I'll make it so that mobs drop block coins. Simple as. Oh my god, I got it! Let's go, dude. Finally. Oh my god. Okay, now we can. F that almost fell off. We can finally move on. So of course the next goal was to make a stone pickaxe. So let's do that. As you can see, the stone pickaxe is 0.75 mining speed, as opposed to 0.5. So we can obviously get rid of the, the wooden pickaxe. And also don't worry if you die with no pickaxe in your inventory. When you die with no pickaxe, you will respawn with a wooden one. So you can't just lose all your pickaxes. Don't worry about that. Okay, so as you can see, we've completed all of the goals except for buying a sapling. And so buying a sapling is how you complete this age. That's how you unlock the progression age. Also, right now, we do actually have enough, uh, we have enough coins to buy gravel. But I'm not going to do that yet, since we don't actually need flint until the automation age. And the coal ore 
is quite a bit more important because Cole actually has a special sword. You can also buy Lapis as well, by the way. Lapis, there's a Lapis pickaxe. So you want to be aiming for Lapis, if not Cole, and if not Iron. Cole has a specific Cole sword, which is very cool because it's when you right click a block, it will place a torch on that block. So yeah, you want to you wanna be getting a Cole sword just for quality of life purposes. It's a stone sword, so it doesn't do too much damage, but it will still place down it will still place down uh, torches, so still good to have. I'm gonna make an axe. You're allowed to make axes and shovels and whatnot, by the way. You don't have to just stick with only a pickaxe. There we go. Boom. Easy. But the pickaxes are like the main thing in this game, so good to have those. The most important thing right now is absolutely getting the oak tree right now and just getting enough to be able to uh, get a bunch of wood and just keep expanding your base. That's why it's called the Expansion Age. Because the Expansion Age is where you're supposed to be expanding your base to such an extent that you can actually, like, walk around a little bit more. But we now have enough block coins to be able to buy a... Oak Sapling. Wabam! And as you can see, we have now entered the Expansion Age. There we go. So let's go see what's going on in the Expansion Age. Starting Age is, of course, done. So let's go to the expansion age now. We can... This one now only has five goals. It is unlocking some of the main vanilla ores. It is unlocking coal, unlocking iron, gold, diamond, and ancient debris. Ancient debris is indeed the most important one here. It's how you get netherite. It's also how you make automation things, which is why the third age is the automation age. So let's go. So as of right now, I actually haven't made it past this point during my test. Of course, I've, I've tested everything, but I've never actually gone past this point. And that's kind of why I want to uh, do this playthrough, because it'll help me with testing, getting an idea of what progression is like, uh, stuff like that. Also, I am a huge fan of Hypixel Skyblock. It is one of my favorite Minecraft games of all time. I adore it. I think it's one of the best made Minecraft servers out there. Hypixel, absolutely amazing. Very, very talented. And I got some inspiration from them, if you couldn't tell. Uh, but as of right now, I think probably the main goal is going to be Lapis Ore. Because Lapis Ore is only 150 blocks. And it, it or not blocks, uh, 150 block coins. And it allows you to craft a new pickaxe that is marginally stronger than a stone pickaxe. Not by like a huge amount, but it is still a lot better. Not a lot better, but it's it's quite a bit better. So yeah, let's keep mining till that. Also, there is one more secret that I want to wanna show off that we haven't found yet. But when we find it, it'll be fun. There's a 1% chance of it appearing. Let's wait it out. Oh my god, we found it. Okay. Here is the 1% chance block of spawning. It is the only other non-unlockable block that spawns naturally. There's four blocks that can spawn into one block. There is stone, well, cobblestone, which has an 85, no, 84% chance of appearing. Uh, there is wood, which has a 5% chance of appearing. No, 10%, sorry. Uh, it's actually, yep, yep, 10% chance of appearing. I'm picking these off the top of my head if you couldn't realize. Um, dirt is a 5% chance, and we have an amethyst block, which has a 1% chance of appearing. And as you can guess, it doesn't drop amethyst. It drops shards. An effect shard. This is one of the, I believe we have 9 shards if I'm counting correctly. There is 9 different shards, and each of them do something different. The effect shard is the one we got here. When you right-click it, well, of course you can read the description. When you right-click it, it'll give you a random potion effect for 20 seconds. Give me night vision! That's actually really nice. <laughs> that's actually really nice. So yeah, as you can see, that's one of the uh, different shards that you can get. So yeah, I'll keep mining till we find some more stuff. Since there is one shard that is easily, in my opinion, it is the best shard. By a long shot, it is the best shard. And if I can get it, we will see. But it's pretty rare. 
Okay, here's another amethyst shard. Let's see what we get. There it is, the gold shard. In my opinion, this is by far the best shard without a doubt. When you right click it, it gives you 10 block coins. Boom. As you can see, our block coin value went up from 122 to 132. That, in my opinion, is the best. It gives you a 10 block boost. And in early game, as you can see, taking, mining 10 blocks takes quite a while. So if you can get that and just get free 10 blocks worth of block coins, like that's huge. So yeah, in the future, these shards, by the way, will have infusions into normal gear. There is, there is already custom gear. Uh, you can make a thing called a black shard sword. Uh, there is a red shard sword, a white shard sword, a blue shard sword, and there is a full set of red shard armor. Uh, you can make all of those right now. And in the future, we will add things called infusions, which you can combine into armor uh, in order to give them certain bonuses. So yeah, uh, that's uh, we don't have that out yet, obviously. That's a plan for pretty far in the future, since for right now we want to mainly get the main stuff out. Next update will be actually... Uh, by the way, we just released the 1.2 update. It's called the progression update. Uh, that's where the menu item comes from. Uh, the flea market, the progression, and the profiles all come from. Multiplayer got added in this update. It, it was a huge update, like honestly. It was, it was the biggest update we've ever released so far. And um, next update will be the first planet update, where we will release the first planet. It will be a combat-driven planet. I have yet to think of a name for it, but as of right now, it will be a combat-driven planet where you can go and kill a bunch of custom mobs, mine a bunch of custom ores, and just generally get stronger. It'll be after the automation, uh, after the automation age, and it will be the next step towards making your empire. So yeah, let's get back to it. So I did say I would get lapis, and I'm not gonna lie. Let's get some lapis. Well, bam. So as you can see, it, do it doesn't disappear from the shop yet, but you already have it unlocked, so uh, we'll change that for next update. But now Lapis should appear in the one block. And when it does, we can create a Lapis Pickaxe out of it. The Lapis Pickaxe does two things. One, it has a 0.9 mining speed, so it is slightly stronger than Stone Pickaxe. And it will drop experience orbs when you mine the one block, which as of right now, not the most helpful thing, but we will be adding, uh, we will be adding in some enchanting in probably like a minor patch a couple days from now, so nothing too far. All right, we have 100 block coins. Let's unlock coal. So there we go. Uh, that also completed the goal, of course, of unlocking coal ore. So now we can unlock iron, gold, diamond, and ancient debris. Those will not be happening this episode. Let's be real. But I will continue until we find Lapis and make a Lapis pickaxe. And then that shall be the end of the first episode. So I think that this will be a really good opportunity to, well, analyze my creations. Well, and my friends, of course, too. I'm gonna, they, of course, deserve credit. They did a really good job. Um, so yeah, this will be a really good opportunity to analyze our creations and, well, figure out balancing, figure out what else we should add, what should we, what we should, what we should change. <laughs> And uh, yeah, if you guys have any ideas for what you want to see more of in the in the game so far, let me know in the comments. Uh, join the Discord server. We have a Discord server. I will put that both in the comments and the description. And let me know what you guys would like to see changed, added, whatever. Since this will be a very community-driven thing, I don't want it to just be like another corporate whatever. I do want this to be a community-driven thing. I want people to really enjoy what they're doing in this game. And I want to make sure I want to make sure that people are like, yeah, enjoying it and actually feeling that they have an impact on this game. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see more of in the comments. I think I'm gonna put up the numbers for these rare blocks. I am dying trying to find them. I think they're gonna go up to two percent very soon. And we got a new shard. <laughs> um, okay. I personally believe that this is going to be the perfect thing to end the episode off with. Thank you everyone for watching today's episode. I will be back for some more episode 2 later on. If you guys want to see this being developed live, you can join me at twitch.tv slash hqc underscore plays. I will stream at least 
I'd say at least two times a week, bare minimum. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to come by, help out, come by. I'll, I've been adding in viewer ideas for all the entire time I've been making this. And if you guys want any more stuff, put it in the comments. Any changes, any new additions, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. You should like and subscribe. I think that's a really good idea. So yeah, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Yo! Yeah!